It was the idea of creating this concept of building blocks, these pieces that were these units that you put together, these found, I, was call, I would call them underlings, these foundation pieces <laughs> that you basically would pair together. And it was the idea of using industrial sort of elements like the color blocking and to treat it in a way kind of like accessorizing. So you could self style and you could create these different dimensions and like, you know, play with like different lines so you could change your outfit. So it kind of was accessorizing. It was also the idea of playing with that whole thing of burning a bra. So that's why the breaker tank, you know, which is the breaker dresser, came with a bra tank. So it was the idea of liberating women and you could wear it out and not feel vulnerable. Everyone's artistic. I think to say you're an artist is staking grounds so that I don't think, I think, I don't know. I, I don't like that word for like, if you're an artist, you're an artist. You know, I think it belongs in the art world. You know, I think you can say you're artistic and you have artistic integrity. And, you know, you kind of, I have that side. And, you know, yeah, I am very immersed in the art world and I love it. So I extract from that, but I don't want to call myself an artist. It's funny, what's inspired me in the beginning was more like the 50s and the whole architecture. And I've always been interested in architecture and I've extracted from the art world and, you know, a lot of the beginning stuff, I looked at architects like Calatrava, who based on bodies, and Niedermeyer, who did, you know, all his architecture was based on a woman's body. So that was a big inspiration. And then medical stuff, I was obsessed with medical, all the stitching, the sutures, and, you know, like body mapping and the whole, like, you know, preoperative lines. And so for me, it's always been about being a surgeon in a way, like going in and exploring the body and cutting and pulling apart and re-putting back together and just kind of always going in and like, you know, kind of reprogramming how the body goes. That's one of the assets of being a female designer. <laughs> you have the female body so you can design it so it works on a woman's body because you're wearing it and you're physically in it and trying it and you're airing the idea. So I think yeah, you do become a part of it because you, you kind of test drive things. I've always liked collaborative things and I think it builds a bigger picture, collaborating, and I think the idea of being able to share makes a bigger world and it's like sharing ideas instead of owning, trying to own everything, makes it rise to a bigger place. So, you know, for me, it's a, a really important asset to what I do. Five Mursa, right in the heart of the new Soho that's called Sosa. <laughs> Probably the most important tool of doing lingerie is the model. I didn't come from lingerie world, so it was really learning. I sort of did all more of a straight body in the beginning because that's what I liked. I was used to models, runway models. But actually, you know, We've started working, you need like a 34C. You need someone who's got boobs, they've got a cup, and they've got a waist, and they've got a hip. Wee hours, the name suggests in the wee hours. It's nice, because I love doing underwear, and it's working with all the more specialty fabrics that are more, you know, rich. It's more the evening and more, you know, a mix of the, the more sort of elegant fabrics rather than performance-based.